thank you very much for um, having us here today. And I want to thank all you guys for just being so dedicated. Like every first Thursday of the month, I mean, this is awesome. I mean, it's it's great just to be CERT members because I think that's an awesome thing, being a CERT member. And I like to remind everybody that I'm also a CERT member as well because I got my certificate. But I mean, I just commend you guys on constantly every month being here to learn more what you can do. Be prepared. Every time we have one of those little earthquakes or tremors, everybody gets on your radio because I get on too. Sometimes I'm a little late. But um, like it was mentioned earlier, you know, we have to practice. We have to drill for whenever the big one happens. So I'm just here today just to say thank you for your commitment. And if anything big ever does happen, you guys are going to be the people we're going to lean on. And um, Gardena is going to be a much safer place because of that. So again, with that, thank you. And I'm going to turn it over to uh, Chief Safel. I just want to, uh, again, thank you for all of your, uh, your great work that you've uh, given to the uh, city of Gardena. It's truly appreciated. Um, I want to thank Lieutenant Messina, who has, uh, has taken up the mantle of our CERT and our EPREP uh, responsibilities within the police department. He continues to run from, yes, not run from them, <laughs> run to them, run to them. Um, so thank you for your work. Uh, things coming up. We talked about the great shakeout. I know Tim's working on that. The other thing is on October 7th is the anniversary of uh, the Hamas Israel conflict. So we, you know, we're, we're very uh, aware and vigilant about that. Things happening in uh, not so much in the community of Gardena, but but the outskirts. And so uh, uh, between those issues and then rolling into the election, we always say that, sir, you are our eyes and our ears. So as we did in 2020, if people can remember back then, um, we'll have to set that up. Where's, I'm looking for Stuart, where are you? Okay, he's right here. <laughs> looking for Stuart. We'll have to set up uh, some of that uh, being around and, and being prepared during that time if, uh, if things start to kick off. But what I can tell you is that we are prepared as a, as a city and as a, a department. Uh, we've gone through mobile field force um, training um, and I bring this up just because that's kind of what's right in front of us for the next uh, 30, 60, 90 days. So um, thank you for all your work. Uh, I'm, we're, we're pretty confident that there's going to be a lot more work here uh, in, the next, in the next few months. Um, and then also kind of referring back to what Tim was presenting at the, uh, at the, for the Jazz Fest, that's almost becoming standard operating procedure to have our EOC open for events. Um, and not just at uh, the uh, at G-Trans, but it could be uh, any place. But having all those resources in one place, monitoring, that's really kind of just the, the, the going practice now. So uh, I, I see more work uh, in your future for that as well. So thank you again. Look forward to uh, the future and, uh, and keep doing what you're doing. Now, lastly, being here, I know that most of you know that uh, after... Uh, three decades of uh, glorious service to the city of Gardena uh, and, and, and the Gardena Police Department. Uh, our own Captain Vince Osorio will be retiring uh, in December. Uh, we are going to miss him. Um, I want to thank him in front of all of you for all of his work. Um, that doesn't mean that uh, like this is his last month, right? It's so it's still going. Yeah, it's still going. Got a lot more work to do here, but. Uh, just want to tell you that how important and how great it's been to have Vince as a captain and as a friend for 30 years. And so uh, if you'd all just give him a round of applause for all his work, appreciate that. <laughs> and so now I'd like, to, I'd like Vince to come forward and I know that he likes to tell a few jokes to everyone and get real, Thanks, Chief. real funny. Yep, absolutely. Hi, everybody. Hello. Stuart, you couldn't get me a little clip or something? Uh, well, like the chief said, I'm, uh, I'm retiring. I'm not counting, but it's two months and 23 days away. <laughs> so, uh, you know, um, I think I've been working with Cindy and the, the rest of the CERT crew here for uh, going on 12 years now. So, you know, right around the time I got promoted to lieutenant. And, uh, you know, I've learned a lot from them, and as all of you, I hope, have. And, uh, you know, it, it, you guys are a great group. You know, the, the city 
will be in good hands. Uh, I guess the best way for me to put this is when the poo-poo hits the fan, right? <laughs> you, I'm, on, I'm on video, so I can't really uh, <laughs> drop an F-bomb right now. Um, <clears throat> Lieutenant Messina is going to be, you know, he's been working with you for a little bit now. Um, he, is, he is a natural at this stuff. He, you know, he's, he's always vigilant. He's, he's got two or three radios <laughs> on him at all times, uh, including the DCS one and, you know, all the other stuff. But, uh, you know, he'll, he'll be great for you guys in, uh, in, in all of his upcoming uh, soon-to-be assigned uh, details. But um, I want to thank you guys for having me and letting me be a part of all this stuff. Um, you know, like the chief said, there's still a lot of work to do. We have, uh, I just briefed him today on what we have going on for uh, prep as far as going into next week uh, with the um, anniversary of October 7th. Uh, right after that, we move into the elections and, you know, we all know that the elections can be a heated time for everybody. So, you know, we want you all to be careful, but we want you to know that we're prepared to respond to stuff here in the city and we're also are prepared to respond to other cities to assist them as needed. Um, based on the intelligence we have now, I personally, I think that if we do something, we'll be responding to somewhere else. Um, you know, fingers crossed, you know, hopefully uh, that's the case, if we even have to go. But, you know, we, we will give you as much information as we can uh, in order for you all to maintain your situational awareness moving around around the city of Gardena and the South Bay so that you can feel safe. Um, you know, we try to get you guys as much information as possible at all times, and we'll continue to do that. But um, I also want to thank Tim. Tim has been with us now for two years, roughly, almost three. Yeah, um, and he's done a great job uh, as our EOC coordinator. He kind of took over for um, me when I got moved out of there. And he, uh, you know, he's done a great job with it. He's, you know, helped us to organize. We've done a lot more formalized training, and we've, done, like, you know, he was talking about. We, uh, we brought CERT into our our um, emergency operations center during the big uh, events that we've had in the city, just to give them practice and get to give us practice also. So, you know, we're hoping that it will continue, and you know, hopefully each and every one of you will get a chance to, uh, you know, run a turn in in the EOC. It's an interesting experience. I mean, you know, obviously we've worked command posts in the past and, um, you know, it's part of our job, but it, it's not part of, I guess the, the only way to say this is a, a, the regular person's job, right? You know, you all have different responsibilities. But when you can be a part of a bigger um, endeavor, it's a good feeling and you, you know, you get a lot out of it. You learn a lot and, you know, hopefully you'll get some skills out of there that, you know, you can add to your cert package, right? But yeah, Tim, thank you, man. Very, uh, very great work. Keep it up. And let's hear it for Tim, guys. But, uh, uh, that, that's, that's pretty much my safety brief for, for the night. Uh, if you have questions as they come up, we're going to be here for a little bit. Please feel free to ask. And yes, sir. I got one, one quick question. Who gave permission to retire anyway? Uh, so so I, I have two bosses here now, the chief and, and the mayor. I got a bigger boss at home um, who, who I just don't mess with. And, you know, so real, real quick story about my retirement. When I, I talked with my family about it um, and told them, hey, I think I'm going to, for lack of better wording, I'm going to pull the trigger at the end of the year. Um, my youngest son, who's 23 now, uh, he, he looked at me and he said, Dad, I've heard this six times. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, we, you know, we worked our way through it. And, uh, and the big boss said, I, I think it's time. And, we, you know, we agreed. You know, I need to do things with them and, you know, uh, fulfill my promises of traveling and doing all that stuff before, uh, you know, we get too old and can't enjoy ourselves, right? So, yeah, that, that's where I got the permission. So, thank you. Well, yeah. But, um, Cindy, I'll turn it back over to you. Thanks, Stuart. Get a smaller microphone. Huh? <laughs>